Okay, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is once again Tuberos Gaming HD coming straight at you with yet again another video. So this video right here is basically going to be me talking about the new upcoming stuff that we are going to see in 2019 of Farming Simulator. And I gotta say, uh, the game is coming out November 20th. You can see on the screen right now we do have the Gen Deere 8400R right here. And also one of the wagons or new wagons, I think it is, that is actually going to come to the game. We do also have an auger wagon on this picture right here. This is basically, I can, I think this is actually the, the cover of the game. Nothing is confirmed on that. I don't remember it, but whatever. Right here we do have it. And this video is mainly going to be me talking about the new fact sheets that came out Friday, last Friday, two days ago. We got some new fact sheet actually, and that is what I'm going to go ahead and walk through in this video. Right here you can see, as I just said, the new big trailer for um, trucks and stuff like that on the right side right here. We already seen this picture like two months ago. So we're going to go ahead and get ready for the next one or the next picture, which is fact sheet number one that I'm actually going to go through in this video. So fact sheet number one is going to come up right here. As you can see, it is the Massey Ferguson ideal, ideal, and it is the whole series, the new combine from Massey Ferguson and stuff like that. I do believe that you guys actually like it a lot. I think so, or I should hope so at least. So the ideal right here from Massey Ferguson, we do also have a similar, what can you say, like machine from Fint. This is from the Atco group actually, but the Fint and Massey Ferguson is basically the same tractor. I just think that Fint is a little bit more popular than Massey Ferguson. That's just my pure, pure kind of interest and stuff like that because I do actually believe that Fiend is more popular around uh, the countries and stuff like that. So the ideal right here, it's a combine harvester. It has a starting price on 4,065, 400,000, 465,000 euros right here. As you can see, that's a pretty steep price, I think it is. And it goes from 538 to 647 horses under the hood. It has a tank capacity like for liquids like fuel and stuff like that on 1000 liters it can go 40 kilometers per hour which is the same as 24 miles per hour it has the world's biggest grain tank of all times right here in the agriculture it has a tank on 17,100 liters right there you can actually go ahead and change the engine setup as i just said from the 538 to the 647 and uh, you can change the design, which is kind of like the brand, as I just said, Fint to Master Ferguson. And then you have the header for it, which is a power flow header. It goes from 79,000 euros and it comes in a 40 feet. This is a 40 feet header, which is the same as 12 meters, the biggest header that you can probably get. You can change the design on this or the brand to Fint if you want to go ahead and do that. With this, you can harvest on a maximum speed on 10 kilometers per hour, which is pretty fast, actually. And you can harvest different kind of crops and think wheat, barley, canola, soybeans, and stuff like that. So that is basically the massive Ferguson ideal right here. Yeah, let's go to fact sheet number two right here, which is another upcoming machine, which is coming to the game. This is the Fint what can you say, or Challenger, whatever you want to say, actually. This is the Fint 1100MT, which is basically a Challenger, just painted in Fint green. This is a tractor right here, as you can see, tractor with belts, and it has a starting price on 428,000, basically. Oh, sorry about that. And you can kind of change the engine setup right here to actually go ahead and get into what can you say like from 492 horses to 646 horses under that hood so it kind of goes pretty steep right here uh, this beast for example with 646 horses under the hood and actually 
with tracks on right here, it would be an insanely good track to actually go out in the field. It also have a fuel tank on 100,000 or fuel capacity on 1,000 liters and it can go 40 kilometers per hour, which is pretty steep. That was my Facebook. Jesus Christ. I'm just going to go ahead um, go ahead and get down with that. And that was just my girlfriend. She's like, I, I'm like, I cannot be with you tonight. And she's like, why can you not be with me? Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, I just hate that. But right here, as I just said, the Fint 1100 MT, you can change, change the engine setup and the wheel setup. I think you can actually get this on, you can see standard and you can get 3 meter tracks. I don't think you can get wheels in this because it's an MT basically. But yeah, then we have Elmer's manufacturing right there underneath, which is a Hall Master. That is the Auger Wagon, which was also showcased on the front picture or the picture that I actually kind of showed you guys before with the John Deere 8400R. This is an Auger Wagon, as you just said, and it has a starting price of 93,000 euros, which is pretty okay. You need you need actually 400 horses under the hood of the tractor to actually pull this this just wagon right here. That's insane. It goes from 46,000 to 70,000 liters. You can change the main color and you can change the capacity on it. You can carry almost all grains in this Orca wagon right here. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty freaking cool actually, if you ask me. Let's go ahead and get to fact sheet number three. Fact sheet number three. Yeah, it's coming up right here, and it is basically a manure rack and from the Danish manufacturer Samson. This is a Samson PG225. Uh, okay, it actually says that on the picture, but okay, yeah, yeah, it's a PG225, which is probably one of the most what can you say popular slurry tankers on the market at least in Denmark PG225 you have I think it's the 8400R in front of it pretty nice setup as I said this is from Denmark or the brand is from Denmark it's a slurry tank it costs from 87,000 euros and upon and it has a or kind like you need 220 horses under the hood to pull this has a capacity of course it's called a 25 so that's 25 tons or the same as 25,000 liters of slurry uh, you can work with this with a speed of 17 kilometers per hour you can change the wheel setup uh, to standard or narrow tires I think this is standard as it is right here then the boom on this is the new one, which actually I think it came out yes last year actually in 2017. The new one, the biggest kind of boom that you can actually get, the SBH4 slash 36. It's 36 meters wide, and you can actually go ahead and work with this on 17 kilometers per hour. It costs you 40,000 euros, and it has a or it is a drip hose boom. If you didn't know that. Uh, you probably already knew because I just said that, so yeah. Fact sheet number four. Right here, you can see the John Deere, that's the John Deere right there, the 8R series. And it's a tractor, obviously it is. Uh, it costs you guys from 299,000 euros. It goes from 290 to 450 horses. So that's like the whole series that we actually get in the 8 series. Uh, the most popular tractor in Denmark is the 8370R uh, John Deere. That's the most popular tractor right here in Denmark. It can go 50 kilometers per hour. You can change the engine, wheels and wheel brand. You can go ahead and take standard wide tires, twin wheels, rear twin wheels and that's it. Then we have this slurry machine or field container right here, which is from Garand Cade. It cost you guys 25,000 euros and you just need 50 horses to actually pull this. It's just, you just need to move it around on the field. It has a 55,000 liter capacity. Uh, the main color, you can change that and you can change the wheel setup 
from standard to white tires and uh, it kind of goes with slurry and stuff like that so that's pretty pretty inaugurous no that's pretty dope actually i actually do like these kind of different kind of things that is upcoming right here and i do also like how uh, fs or the developer behind actually pulls out these um, fact sheets and stuff like that so you can actually go ahead and see what is upcoming for for this actually and uh, yeah I do believe that is gonna change the game or kind of how we used to play the game I think because uh, new equipment for example the John Deere for example the Samsung PG never seen that in FS uh, at least not on the PS4 but that is just so freaking dope so I gotta say I'm gonna end this video right here once again I gotta say thanks for coming through Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up on the video right here if you're looking forward to FS19 coming up November 20th this year. Thanks for coming through. This is Two Birds Gaming HD. We're basically going to turn off now. We're going to see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye.